by Gorgamilas, doesn't make the distance, it hits the deck now as they go, Glasgow snaps at the goals, it doesn't make the distance, the players position themselves, oh, there's a great mark for Dixburn, oh, right on the edge of the kickoff mark, and a chance now to put the Blues in front, would have to fall over to miss this one, the ex-West Australian, as we see him go for this mark. Eyes on the ball, that was a grand mark uh, taken that time by Ditchburn. Right on the edge of the kickoff mark and a chance now to put the Blues in front again, Pete. Yes, it's, uh, you mentioned Lou Esmond played better in the first quarter, but Carlton have found something. Ditchburn's kick looks good. A goal, his first, Carlton in the lead again. And in the elimination... ...going past, has him now. Here's a chance for the Blues. They set up another one to Ditchburn, who can run into the open goal. He shoots with a drop punt, and the goal umpire watches it sail straight through the middle. Yes, Sandy, Ross Ditchburn, a very straight kick. He doesn't need many opportunities, and uh, he got that opportunity with a good play on that occasion by a couple of the Carlton players. It finished off... Towards Ashman, how will it bounce? Ditchburn, oh yes, dashing play. The left foot snap. It's home! Line. So, shows you just how hard the uh, Fitzroy defenders are working. They're doing a great job. Chance now for Ditchburn to fire at the goals. And he's put it through. So, at six goals, 6.42, Carl, the Fitzroy, 6.945. Austin, no, not Austin, Ashman picks it up nice. Has a chance now for them to go well into attack. A short pass from Hunter. It's a beauty. And a mark taken there by Ditch, and I think this is the first kick for the match so far. Been pretty well guarded by Malaki. He'd be about uh, 35 to 40 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. Usually a very accurate kick for goal, Ditchburn. And of course, if he kicks this one, it'll make scores dead level. Our camera's from behind the goal. There's the kick. And that's a ripper right through the middle. So it's four goals, four 28 uh, points apiece. And uh, we're just over the 12 minute mark of this. The second. Sometimes they don't. Corker Mealis, Ditchburn, McClure, plenty of Geelong Guernseys there. Pazastos, next clear. Ditchburn, a shot at goal. That looks good. Goal. Well played the part of Pazastos that time. Well, Reed was pushed by Carroll right into him, but he'll still get his kick in. Long to full forward, looking for McConville. Knocked away. Ditchburn off the ground for a goal. No luck at all for the Swans there, but Ditchburn read it. Getting one as uh, Marcus Arnie drives it up there towards the full forward position. The back is uh, Ditchburn, nearly marked that, and the umpire's paying. Well, I'll leave that one to you. Did he hold it long enough, do you think, Bob? I'd like to sit on the replay, Lou. Mark Browning having a few words again. he was again. the only player to really bring the ball down. Well, he's got a chance now to uh, score another goal. It could be goal number four for Ditchburn. Kick three up to this stage of the match, and he was a doubtful starter before the game, but he certainly played a very uh, sound game for the Blues so far. There's another goal. That makes it safer. For at half forward, the way he goes is not the greatest of kicks. Into the goal square, Madden's there. Chance for Marku. Ditchburn. Carter in front of he goals, it will be a goal, McConville three metres out, puts it through for five. Only 40 metres out here, that one slightly off target, and that's a mark to Ditchburg. One metre out from goal. It was a great mark. And there's not good defence there by the Swans, I think that if we watch on replay now, we'll find that too many of the Swan defenders were trying to take marks themselves. And so Ditchburn will bring up his second goal. And the great start for Carlton in the second quarter. He's done just that. Give them a chance to regroup. Rod uh, Carter's oh. kick is uh, not what you'd call good. Ditchburn. Marcazzani, he kicked a beautiful goal before. Dummy superbly. And has he shaved the post or is it a goal? It's four points. Trouble Buckley. Short pass. Left unattended this time, Ditchburn. Carter left him alone. And was he? Waiting now on... Uh, Ditchburn to kick the Blues' first goal for the quarter. The kick. That's a fine kick and it's a goal to the Blues. To half forward. Lead from Ditchburn and the mark. In front of Carter. Swings the ball back into the run by Carlton again. Picked up by Shaw. The Blues are alight at the moment. And comes Ditchburn for a very easy goal. When you're hot, you're hot, and the Blues are hot at the moment. He's receiving plenty of advice from Bazasto, but doesn't everybody?
was a very accurate kick for goal, this fellow. I don't think he need too much advice. Ditchburn. The goal umpire does not have to move a millimetre. And three goals to come in the space of about two minutes have just about leveled the scores. This one's a long kick. This one goes short. Does it have? Ditchburn again in front of four. Oh, what a bath. Ditchburn has kicked two. And one would venture to suggest from 15 metres out directly in front, he'll have three within a space of a few seconds. The Robert Heatley stand is breathless. Now they can cheer. Three goals to Ross Ditchburn. Plenty of advice from the Carlton crowd as to uh, where and when to kick it. He's gone for a short pass. And whatever uh, crossed his mind, that was the correct thing to do. Ditchburn. Played pretty well, Ashman, just to say. He has, yes. Plenty of possessions. Ditchburn a short pass. Bad defence from... Against Calvin Moore, playing his 300th game today. One of the great players of league football. There's the kick by Ditchburn. It's a long one, but uh, it'll be OK. It'll be their first goal. And that came at the... Uh, just over the 28-minute mark. So Carlton move on to one goal, five. And they're messing about the Blues. A short pass, and Ditchburn takes the mark there at half four. Another short pass again coming out here to Portolotto. Fires... And it's a goal, not badly needed by the Fitzpatrick got it down to Mark Koo. Finally it comes out, tapped on by Justin Madden over to Ditchburn, a snap for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick. I think he may have kicked this one through, he has a goal. So it's eight goals, 6.54. Long kick down, Ditchburn in the front position, a nice mark. Well, it looks as though uh, whether Ditchburn has uh, a new opponent because he did start off with Foles as an opponent. Now Harms, oh, nice pass there by Ditchburn. And line, a hand pass comes across to Wayne Johnston. Johnson, beautiful pass. Now that is football, Sandy. A lovely lead by Ditchburn. And uh, although one might uh, say that Ditchburn had the ball put right on his chest, you have to know when to lead. And Ditchburn certainly does do that. That was a perfect lead and Ross Ditchburn now from centre half forward about 40 metres out directly in front going for Carlton's seventh goal and his own number one and there's no mistake about that. Ditchburn does bring up goal number one to take Carlton to seven goals, four, 46, Essendon 5, 3, 33. It's a tap, it's taken by Marku, puts a short kick forward and it's taken by Ross Ditchburn. Ditchburn has put one goal three on the board to date and shouldn't have any trouble with the distance. He's only 25 metres out. And he's watched Ditchburn. Ross Ditchburn. Goes Goldwood. Puts it through the centre. Two goals to Ross Ditchburn. Carlton now, 13-10. Tumbles a punt down towards Ditchburn, who's out on a long lead. Now he's got Meldrum on a flank. He'll look to that player now. That's the way it heads. Very loose play by Nagel. Oh, cleverly gets it back. This is Ditchburn now back on the ground. Hand pass into Pazusto. Landy charges after him. Back it comes to Ditchburn. Another hand pass to Corkamilis. He lines up the goals. He fires, and this could be a goal. It is. Great play by Carlton. To Brian Cordy. Under pressure, Cordy's hand pass. Intercepted there Whoa. by Ditchburn. Ditchburn trying to tap it wide. Hanson now coming in to take it. Gives the hand pass over the top. Callett knocked the ball forward, but it was English who puts the ball out wide. We see two Carlton players completely clear. One is Ditchburn. Overruns it the first time. The hand pass towards Austin. On to Mark Hu. Mark Hu now from the forward pocket. Goes towards goal. A beautiful looking kick. It's a great goal to Alex Mark Hu. And we can put that one down for goal of the day on World of Sport tomorrow. Mark Hu running the boundary line. Carlton in possession. Kicked forward by... Uh, Carlton's Rowan Burke to set up the handball from Ditchburn to Buckley who goes goal and puts on another one. Oh, they're running right. Who had such a wonderful start to the season. It's been a pretty good consistent season all through, in fact. Johnston gives it across to the doormat. The flyer to half forward, a beautiful kick. Ditchburn, Buckley, or oh, the signs are there. Pazasto, goal. So too is this man. Under to half four, Ditchburn a little too high for him. Groner wagon, overrunning it, socket off the ground. Thank you, says well, I'm going to kick a goal. <laughs> Almost a smile.
dangerous. Johnston's created the space. Here they go, the Dominator. Didn't it try to goal? Looks for Ditch Burn and fight. Many may have thought that he shot for goal then, but he didn't. He just chipped across, and Mike Fitzpatrick is very quick to go across to him and say, well done. He's kicked one. Ditch Burn. And the West Australian farmer. A chance to put the Blues further ahead, and he does so. Master Ken Hunter. Hunter having time to have the bounce. Steadies, the hand pass over the top to Ditchburn. Into the open goal goes Ditchburn and brings up his third goal. Great play by Kenny Hunter and Rowan Burke. Bounce favours Fitzpatrick. He gets the thump. Taken by Williams. And coming out of the centre, Williams goes for the short pass. Taken by Ditchburn, a hand pass out wide where Basasto has it. Runs into the open goal. Makes no mistake. Brings up goal number four. Go long and low towards full forward. Phillips, McClure, Shaw. Socket off the ground by Ditchburn for Carlton's first. So a good start for the Blues in the second term. Kicking with the break. Mark by Wayne Hart. He gets clear that time of uh, Fury. Drives the ball down towards uh, Ditchburn. He didn't let him down. He took the mark. A magnificent kick by uh, Harms that time. And a 15-metre penalty against Gowton. And the Carlton crowd going mad here. They know their side's in plenty of trouble. They still haven't scored a goal. And we're just on, we're on the 30-minute mark. Now we see a chance for Ditchburn to put their first goal on the board. Usually a pretty accurate kick for goal, this ex-Western Australian. Not that I'm trying to put the kiss of death on him, I hope he kicks the goal. And he's done just that. So Carlton kicking their goal, first goal for 30 minute mark. One goal, three nine points to North Carolina. Drop through uh, Sheldon. That's a free kick. Crash. Free kick to Ditchburn. He collided with uh, Glenn Binning. Let's watch that again. Ditchburn has kicked two goals, and if he kicks this, I think I'll take the cans off because we'll probably be different. There's only about uh, 30 metres out, yes, feet, directly in front, just about. Three goals to Ditchburn. The difference is five points. 8 9 57, who is usually dead eye dick when it comes to shooting at goal. And what's he done with that one? It's a goal, a very controversial one to open proceedings at VFL Park. 1 3 9. Carlton, Essendon yet to score. And on his own is Sheldon. Hasn't played a bad game today either. As the ball is passed down there at a mark to Ditchburn. Back it goes to Johnson. Could be in a bit of trouble here. Actually grabbed by the leg as he tries to get out, but he finally gets it out for Ditchburn. A hurried kick back there.